Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildcraft, here with the Starry Skies Ancestors and our absolutely amazing Cheetah Rigel, who has broken a Shadow Curse, managed to get a Legendary Pet, managed to get another, like, I think this little one is a Legendary, managed to free little Zaidi from the Shadow God and, like, form an alliance with his gazelle herd with our Starry Skies Ancestors. He has managed to impress the giraffe he has managed to unlock a mythic phoenix skin and basically he's been awesome so if you guys have not seen what he has been up to in the last couple episodes i highly recommend checking it out holy cow rigel he is definitely now one of my favorites especially because i think the giraffes are beginning to pay attention to him but before we ponder what we will do in trying to impress the giraffes so that one day we might be able to get one of their fosters and they will send over a child of their own so that we will- Oh, look at the giraffes! They're definitely checking us out now! I'm so excited! Rigel, you've done such a good job! It's only a matter of time before we impress the giraffes enough to be allowed to foster one of their own with us. I know technically the strength of the Starry Skies ancestors is high enough in gemstones now we could just do it, but that's not how we do things around here, my friends. We base things on rich storytelling and challenges that span across multiple series, as you know. But all right, we have little Zaidi, the reborn gazelle by our side. He really wants to free his herd from the Shadow Curse. We have the giraffes are getting closer and closer and really keeping an eye on us lately. So clearly they might be ready to consider an alliance with the Starry Skies ancestors. But before we do any of that, today is the day when Romantic Rigel, who did unlock, of all things, the Cupid Pet. Of all of the legendaries that he could have gotten, he got the Cupid Pet. But we're gonna go ahead and see what romantic Rigel- Oops, I didn't want the moon bats for now. I'm sorry, moon bats. I want you with us. But right now, Zaidi is going to stay by Rigel's side to free his people. Uh, and we'll switch back to the moon bats in the future too, but I think Zaidi wants to stay by Rigel's side because so far Rigel is proving himself to be amazing. But we're gonna go ahead and wait to uh, speak with the giraffes, and we're gonna go ahead and wait to see what Celestial is doing now that the Shadow Curse has been broken. And we're going to let Rigel, romantic Rigel, find the love of his life. So let's go ahead and follow this and see which one of the Starry Skies ancestors will be reborn as this cheetah and Rigel's mate. All right. We have to apparently- Oh, she's so pretty. All right. All right. Wait. Yes! Sweet! We've done it! My friends, I would like all of you to welcome Nova into our wonderful Starry Skies. <laughs> our Starry Skies ancestors. And I'm only laughing because that took like less than a blink. That was so fast. Nova was ready to be reborn. So Nova is actually a big deal because Nova is the direct daughter, the second generation, the very first litter that Luna and Sol, the founders of our Wolf Quest adventures, the founders of the Starry Skies ever had. So Nova here is kind of important and elite. It's basically like meeting with the princess of the most important goddess in like the, the daughter, the direct daughter, not the the great 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 granddaughter, not the great 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 grandson, which I think Rigel is to Luna, uh, potentially, but the actual straight immediate daughter of Luna. So Nova's a huge deal. And she has been selected to become the mate of Rigel, who clearly has a lot of luck and clearly is making his time amongst the starry skies uh, here in Wildcraft extremely dramatic. So we're gonna go ahead and invite Nova into our wonderful into our wonderful adventures. She is aware of the fact that she is the daughter of Luna, and she takes that responsibility quite seriously. She really wants to have a strong hand in being able to help the Starry Skies become even stronger amongst the many, many worlds that they are beginning to encompass. Um, but she is, with that, she's very serious, very responsible, definitely going to be a great match for Rigel. 
but she does have one tiny little hang up and that's the fact that well, you know, her appearance is just so common. She is the daughter of Luna, and appearances must be kept in order to show the importance of the starry skies. So less over her own pride, and more over her pride of her entire pack, Luna dreams of being able to have a legendary skin. So she really wants to have a legendary appearance, or Nova, excuse me, not Luna. She really wants to have a legendary appearance. She would love to have, at the very least, like this rare one. And because she's so important, I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and just get it with acorns for her. But this just really looks more like her. Like for Nova, hmm. I, I'm not sure which legendary, but I definitely feel like the legendaries look more like her. Like this one, probably. Probably for Nova. This one, maybe. Okay, this one definitely looks like Nova, actually. So I think that she just really wants to have a legendary appearance, and she's not going to be satisfied until she manages to get that. Uh, and I don't think any of these others will really... Yeah, I don't really think any of the others will really make her feel as good about it. But we'll try to... Let's get her maybe one of the common ones, just so she looks a little different. Because Nova represents like stars like stars that go supernova so i think actually she prefers kind of these colors th these kinds of colorings um should i get her a rare i don't think she likes the look of the rare i think this one is the closest that we can come to what she'd be content with so we'll go ahead and get that one does she have anything that she could wear i i feel like she would actually be one of the one of the few of our many tribes who would wear something pretty regularly if just to represent the strength of the starry skies she believes oh that's so cool like i really think that she would believe that it is important to set a good precedence for respecting the starry skies ancestors <gasps> that is so awesome we'll have to see if she can do something to like earn this outfit maybe when she gets to level 10 or maybe when we like take out i don't know an elephant is there an elephant <laughs> that would be good for nova uh would she wear one of these hats do we have any hats for cheetah unlocked we do not i kind of would love to have like some more normal looking hats what about her eyes Ooh, nice dark eyes nova oh we could give her really 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 cool eyes should we give let's look at the skin that she wants in the future oh that's amazing holy cow okay nova i think we're gonna go ahead and give her the purple eyes for like supernova maybe Ooh, these ones these ones okay there we go she is extremely important after all so whoa rigel what was that huzzah look at this that is so cool we can actually like hang out with Nova now. This is awesome. And look at her grooming herself. She's here. I think she's a little annoyed about the fact that she doesn't have a legendary appearance because it is important to represent the starry skies. No, not totally not about her own pride and ego. Totally not. But let's go ahead and get her a first meal. Maybe this little gazelle so that she can settle in. This is so exciting. I have missed Nova a lot, too. That first pack that we- the first litter that we had- <gasps> Look at everybody go! Jeez! We're gonna free the gazelles from the curses and the, the, like, giraffe are just watching on. We're gonna be able to free everybody in no time. Alright, come on, Nova. You need some more food. And I probably should- you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling. We did not get a shadow orb from that. But maybe if we save up enough shadow orbs from taking out the gazelle- we can make more alliances. So I will start keeping track of getting shadow orbs from the gazelle. Our poor little Zaidi. He just wants to free his people. All right, we can help him out with that. Oh, and we leveled up? Yes, okay. We'll check the level up in just a second. Hang in there, Zaidi. I think Zaidi will stay with, um... oh, and it's another cheetah clan. <gasps> uh oh, they better not attack us. They look like they're trying to come in for our kill. Alright, come on, Nova. You come and eat, too. If she waits too long, all that food's gonna go to waste. Alright, who leveled up? Let's check this out. Was it- Yes! It was already Nova! Gosh, she was doing a lot of damage, even though, like, she literally just leveled up. Alright, let's come over. 
Should we take out this rival? You know what? I think we do need to take out the rival cheetahs. Maybe? Nova's not that strong yet. Nova's not that strong, uh, but she's very proud. So you know what? I think she would do it. Because I think the rival cheetah clan is probably getting a little bit more agitated. Oh, that's right. And now I can actually just go ahead and stun them. Oh, or die! Oh, embarrassing. Oh no, Rigel! Rigel, I can only imagine that he's kind of humiliated a little bit. And Nova, look at how elegant she looks. I could only imagine that she'd be like, you're supposed to be our grand savior? What was that? Uh, but I don't think she's mean. I think she's just surprised. And she's still getting used to being in this new body as well. But like romantic Rigel, I feel like that may have been a little bit of a blow. I wish you could have them do like really cute things like you could click on one of them. Uh, and then that'll stay in the den. Or I really wish that you could do things like interact with them in some way. Like be able to nuzzle or something without having to really struggle to posture. All right, let's see. <gasps> Look at this hippo! It spawned, it, it re, re, its spirit respawned in a rock. So I don't think we're gonna, I, I think that this is a case of like the hippo's cranky about this, but it's gonna be grateful for the help because now it'll be able to like disappear and have its spirit energy <laughs> respawn elsewhere. That's so funny. Okay, come on. Are we all done with the battle? We're done with the battle. So let's go ahead and have Nova. I'm gonna play as her for a second. Stay back, Rigel. I need this food. There we go. And we'll have her eat up. But this is fantastic. Nova, why are you? Okay, she's barely getting any energy from this. But she gets to eat and have all of the spirit energy from the hippo, which is great. Rigel really is kind of restless, isn't he? All right, there we go. And then she leveled up, which is fantastic. And I guess we can play as Rigel? Or you know what? Actually, we can try playing as Nova for a minute. What is this? What is happening here? Rigel, what'd you find? That's so interesting. It's like, it's like they found a very broken spot. Um, it'll be fun when she can actually roar. Let's see if we can get her to roar today. Jeez, there's so many gazelle everywhere. I wonder how many shadow orbs they're carrying. Oh, not the warthogs! Oh, thank goodness. All right, we'll go ahead and get some food. And after we eat this gazelle, I'll see if it had a shadow orb. I just feel like Zaidi, as he watches the downfall of his people, is grateful because at least he's able to free their spirit every time. But it still must be a little difficult. <gasps> a shadow orb! Jeez, now we find them super easy. Okay, so we did get one shadow orb. I don't know how many shadow orbs we might have to save, uh, like work up to, before we could say that we have built up an alliance with some of the other groups. But I think that's a good way to do things. I bet it would be a lot. So I think Zaidi's actually pretty happy because each gazelle we take out, he can free it from the shadows. I just have to keep saying that because I keep watching this baby gazelle stare at the dead ones and I'm like, ah, ah. Okay, let's see. Let's take on something a little bigger in a minute because we're gonna need to rest pretty soon and get our ancestor blessings now that Nova has joined us. She's dreaming of a legendary or perhaps even a mythic uh, skin for herself so that she can really show how powerful the starry skies are. But let's take out that wildebeest just to have a big hefty snack and get her leveled up one more time. All right, you're a big boy, but there we go. Now we'll distract him. Look at them go. Oh, Zaidi. Yes! <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah, this is this is awesome. I love having a pet. I love having the the cheetahs. This is just fantastic. And I love the way their story is playing out. But alright, my friends, it is that time with the giraffes watching on once more. Good news for us. It is that time to go ahead and see what the ancestor blessings actually would be for Rigel and Nova today. And little Zaidi is almost ready to level up, which is quite exciting. As they begin to really take 
control and really start establishing not only strength on the savannah, but alliance and breaking apart curses. And this is just turning into so much more than I ever thought it could be. So Nova, I wish you well on your rebirth here in the savannah. Let's go ahead and see what the Starry Skies ancestors have to say for Rygel today. He's kind of blowing me away, but maybe it's time to, uh, yeah, time to calm down a little. <laughs> but we have a beautiful eagle skin, so I do think it's about time for us to have some phoenixes begin to rise on the savannah. We have uh, a couple duplicates so that we've got some more acorns to our name. And let's go ahead and see what Nova's very first blessing will be. Thinking about foxes, too. Interesting. Aww! All right, and Nova's first blessing is, from the ancestors is a bit more strength, and it apparently is the fact that the eagles really might need to soar into these savannah skies. So very soon here, we may see the rise of majestic phoenixes flying across the savannah. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Next time, I really hope to either be here with our wonderful cheetahs, or perhaps go and check on Celestial as she prepares for the birth of the very first lion cub in our Starry Skies Pride. If you guys would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!